morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I'd like to do is just take a few minutes real quick to introduce you to the new Council Tool Double Bit Saddle Axe. Stay with me. Okay, this axe has a two pound head, double bit, and a 15 inch American hickory handle. It has a really nice buckled leather sheath that covers both bits. And there you can see what the axe looks like. And I've used this one a little bit, but I have not abused it yet enough to really do a full review on the axe. But I do really like the way it handles so far. It's got a nice swell at the bottom of it to keep it in your hand. It's a nice handy length for, your, for the back of a pack or something like that. And again, it has a two pound head and a normal size eye in it so that it's easy to replace this handle years down the road. You don't have a specialty size handle you have to buy to fit this axe if anything were to happen to the handle itself. It's got a Council Tool logo on it and a USA logo on it. And you also have two different grinds on this double bit head. And there's a reason for that. Back in the 1850s, 1860s when the double bit axe really kind of took shape in America and later on when Nesmick actually used a smaller version of an axe similar to this as his pocket axe or pack axe. He spoke to also the usefulness of two different grinds on the double bit axe. And you have on this one you have a 25 degree grind on one side and a 35 degree grind on the other side and they're both a nice flat grind. Now the reason for that is you would take the 35 degree grind and that would be your workhorse. If you're working around knots or close to the ground where you might ding up your blade or something like that trying to clear away a root ball, something of that nature, then you would use that 35 degree side, which is a little bit thicker material, heavier, and made for more beefy tasks. And then you've got a 25 degree grind that's made for more of the fine carving tasks or chopping tasks where you're cutting wood down to size and things of that nature that you want to keep a good keen edge. And that's really the main advantage to the double bit was that two different grinds on the same axe so that one axe could do different jobs without worrying about fouling or dinging up your main cutting edge that you use to cut wood with. So this is a really nice rendition of that double bit saddle axe. Again, it's 15 inches long and has a two pound head. The steel that's used in these council tool axes is 5160, which is a very robust steel that holds an edge for a long time and has a lot of durability over time. The sheaths on the other side of the sheath opposite the buckle also are marked USA and Council Tool embossed in the leather. So you get a really nice sheathing system for this axe. High quality leather. I think all of the leather that Council uses is made by Weaver Leather Company, if I remember correctly. So you get a good quality leather sheath with this axe as well. And this axe is priced at a better price point than their anniversary edition of this same axe, which had a logo in Boston here. And on Self-Reliance Outfitters, we are taking pre-orders for this axe now at $139.99. So that's just a really quick down and dirty introduction to this new Council Tool Saddle Axe. And I'll do a further review on this after I've used it for a while. But my first impression of this thing after using it to cut some wood, limb a couple trees and things like that is that it's a very handy ax to have. And it also fits very, very well right down the back sleeve of a backpacker on the side because of that 15 inch overall length. So I think this is a pretty nice tool that Council Tools come up with. I haven't been disappointed in anything they've made so far. This isn't their Velva Cut or Premium line like the Pack Axe or the Woodcraft Pack Axe was. So it is a little bit more expensive, but it's got a finer finish and it's got a premium select handle. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our business, and for our family, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.